Welcome back, print fam. Welcome to another video of Darren hopes he doesn't screw up again. We're gonna be cutting some poster on the Suma F1612. I used to cut everything on the keen cut that you can see right here. I have the 100 inch version, which is 250 centimeters. Now the Suma does all the work for me. In this case, we're gonna use the double edge tool, which we've already got loaded, but because we screwed up, we're gonna clean it. And we're also gonna do the auto depth control. So let me show you how I do that. And then I'll get the poster on here and we'll cut it. So we have the machine brought forward. And I just got my new set of baby wipes. I like to keep baby wipes throughout the office because sometimes you get black on your fingers or dirt or something. It makes it so you can just clean them real quick before you need to handle the media. But all I'm gonna do is come down here and let's actually take you guys off the tripod. Okay. So you can see right here, there's just a bunch of debris. So all I'm gonna do is take the baby wipe. Now with posters, it's not gonna get very deep like it did with the double-edged tool or with the foam core that I screwed up with. So just need to make sure there's no sticky stuff. This tool should have a boot like this one, but I was cutting um, security film and the boot would drag on it, and so I took it off. But it also came broken, and they're supposed to send me a new one. But this is all clean. You can actually see some debris in the oscillating tool because it picked it up when this destroyed it on the fault. So now that this is clean, we'll load the media and get it cut. So now that we've got it clean, we and the media loaded, loaded we are going to set the origin again so we click the origin button and then you can use the arrow keys here or i just use the keyboard and you just want it to be you want the red dot which is the laser just at the corner of the media so once it's there you click apply and then we do the same thing with the size basically what that does is down here on the bed there is a cylinder that allows the vacuum to be opened up to a certain amount so all we're doing is setting that width so that the vacuum will only be where the media is located so hit size it does the same thing. And apply so now it's gonna say that it's finishing setting and that it's like gonna move the yeah, positioning vacuums so we have that all set here and then over here we can import the file or I have it set up to read the barcode this was the most recent job so it's just gonna be untitled 4 and I actually have it turned the other way which is why a lot of times I like to use the barcode in this case it's really simple to know that it's not positioned correctly because there's one that's misplaced so I can come up here and just rotate it twice so now it's in the right orientation now what you should do before you cut is you should come and select your media your thickness etc I know this works and the through cut is a correct blade for paper so we're not gonna screw up like we did with the foam core so let me set up on the tripod and we'll get this cut so I told this to run and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the head instead of positioning it to where the first registration mark I'm checking to make sure there's no bubbles in the media so you can actually see the paper sprinkle
and you can just push the keyboard again and it should activate the vacuum. I have the most issue with paper. You can see all the bubbles. This one is outside of the cut area, so it won't matter. But every time, it's super normal. I really need to change the default to more than 10 seconds. One big, no black cutting. I'm not gonna make you watch this. That's about as good as I'm gonna get it, so we're gonna exit. Definitely got the one big crease right there. Even tried to rip the paper. I need to get a little table so that when it feeds, it comes off. But right now, I just have to catch it. I could still do this on the keen cut, but these are perfect. They're the exact same size. They're, they've rolled together really well versus before when I'd cut them by hand, they'd be off a little bit. I'd put registration marks and I'd cut them. They'd still be off just a hair because I was doing it by hand. So now having a machine that does it, phenomenal. Love the double edge. I do um, perf cut stickers or contour cut stickers, however you want to call them now. They're die cut stickers. Um, perfect die cutting. Um, I've done poster, security film, window tint. So the double edge blade is awesome for this kind of stuff. I keep the double edge blade, boop, 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 the double edge blade in the machine all the time. That is the one tool I don't think we'll ever swap in and out. I am tempted to get a third tangential. Um, slot two and three are where the router go and so i have three or i have slot number one for the double edge and then my second tangential and two so that i just have one module to remove if i need to use the router but i honestly don't see myself using the router that much but hope you enjoyed if you have questions about this or are interested in getting a suma garrett who i purchased mine from his information is down below but again if you have questions let me know happy to make videos cameron Thank you for reading the videos. Thank you all for watching. Again, questions, them down below. If you want to support the channel, there's affiliate links down there to do so. Thanks as always, and we'll see you in the next one. What?